by just checking. This is the last time I'm gonna say this. I'll do this video. I'm annoyed with the neighbor's cat at the moment. Anyway. I've been watching the night sky for most of my life and I've observed in particular Orion Orion there wherever it is like Betelgeuse I've seen Betelgeuse go from red to white and I watch it across the sky every night when there's no clouds and it always travels the same path in the same location that is there have been a few exceptions when the earth appeared to tilt um, suddenly but within two days the constellations had moved back to where they were and the earth moved back to where it was so what I want to talk about is the sun actually for about 14 years and I'm going to have to pause this because the cat just got up and heading for somewhere I'll be right back I'm going to check it again because yeah <laughs> the cat's not eating his food I gave him so they are took him outside and locked the door <laughs> anyway what I've noticed is in the past 12 years or so the sun just would normally set up over here where my arrow is it started moving over here from spring until summer and I found it when I first noticed that excuse the noise as the cat's trying to break in the game but I'm not letting him in I think it was around 2018 I noticed the sun had basically set right on the top of this mountain which is Mount Mackenzie and about six months later this was in mid midsummer I think it was um, there was a Southern strata atmospheric oh what the hell is it southern stratospheric warming above Antarctica and six months after that um Australia caught in caught on fire well, it might have been eight months later, um, in September 2019, we had all those bushfires. And then 
not long after that, uh, the, uh, it might have been the same time, um, we had the coronavirus outbreak in China, which I believe was triggered by all the um, bushfire smoke here in Australia. That's what I can put it down to. And then over the period, uh, over the period of time, the sun went back to its winter position, which is way off screen. This is west. Uh, this over here to the left is south. And to the right, it's north. So if you follow this grass here, south is that way. So in parallel with this, and north is this way. Going parallel to this. This grass is this fence line here. And because noticed that Orion and Betelgeuse and whatnot haven't shifted positions during this sun movement all I can think or conclude is that the earth hasn't tilted um, what I originally thought was that the earth had to, but apparently hasn't. But what appears to be happening is that our sun is shifting out of its regular orbit. So something is making it shift out of its regular orbit. However, Way back in 30 or more years ago, from what I can remember uh, about the sun, is the sun was smaller and it was yellow, but now the sun is bigger and it's white. So either we have two different suns or this or our sun is uh, changing. It went it went through a change. A physical change with its structure and whatnot. But that would explain Explain the movement of the sun out of its orbit would explain all the severe weather we've been getting because and I'm not a scientist okay I don't know nothing about anything except I know that our sun dictates our weather on earth that's all I know I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, that. It should not have moved past this point here. It should be there right now, not way over here. Because this was its. Over in this little mountain here used to be its furthest, most south spot where it'll go in midsummer. Uh, but now, I mean, this is uh, taken on the 11th of. December last year, it's only like a month ago, so it probably has gone all 
over there by now. But I know in spring, from probably mid spring, it goes from here and then bolts across there really fast. Whereas it's autumn to winter um, part of its orbit is a lot slower but this is a lot faster so I don't know what the heck is going on something has to be affecting it I don't believe it's the earth affecting the sun because the earth is too small So there must be another sun or something massive affecting it or it I actually have heard that uh, when suns some suns go through a change um, that's if they're orbiting another sun. Well, if there's two or more suns, generally two or three, then um, the one that's changing can get ejected from the solar system, become a rogue sun. Uh, I don't know if that's happening or not, but uh, I still haven't found any visual confirmations with the naked eye, like just looking up in the sky, um, that there's a second or third sun. But I thought this is, I wanted to say this. Even if nobody watches this, I, I wanted to get it out of my head and off my mind. So, yeah, it, it makes me wonder, even at this uh, lens flare of the sun, you can, right, I'll zoom in. Is it the sun there? And this is just the light. Cast by the sun onto the... What is that, Mercury? It's something. It's weird. Could be another sun? I don't know. This is also interesting, but you know, lens clear. Makes you wonder. But like when you're looking at it, lens clear. But there's obviously something there in front of the sun, otherwise, this wouldn't be detected. Maybe that's a core of the sun, I don't know. But there's always usually one. Anyway. That's my thoughts for the day. I'm going to end this here now. If you watched it, thanks for watching. Bye.